Last night we finished up the soffit panels and started the fascia. We got the first fascia panel in, uh, started installing the second, and before we take down the scaffolding and try to move it over for the next fascia panel, uh, we're gonna do this window here. To do this window, we're going to first cut open the rough opening with a router. Second, we're going to flash the opening. Third, we're going to shim the window and dry fit it. Fourth, we're going to caulk it, secure the window in place, fasten it with screws. Finally, we're going to flash the outside of it. The window is a six foot by 18 inch vinyl slider. This is the Jeldwin premium vinyl window and it's a double pane low E. We chose a window on the south side of the barn with a high solar gain coefficient. Basically, this is a passive solar window, which is the reason we chose a double pane instead of a triple pane. On the north side and other sides of the building, we chose one with a more reflective solar coating in addition to a triple pane. The router is a new tool for us, it's the Milwaukee M18 line, and this is their fixed router. We have a two inch bit on it with a ball bearing tip that should allow us to go around the rough opening of the window and get a nice square cut for the sheathing and insulation. Because it's an inch and a half of sheathing and insulation, it's gonna produce quite a bit of dust, so we'll have to make sure we clean the window jam pretty well before we flash. We're going to be using two and a half inch flat headed screws to secure the window. And we're using composite shims to lift it off the uh, sill there. The sill is on a five degree angle outward. These guys will basically bring the window back to level while providing a channel for water to drain. The sill itself is gonna be flashed with six inch stretch tape. We'll put two along the sill to fully cover it. The first will go on and wrap onto the weather resistant barrier or the zip sheathing. The second will completely cover the rest of the sill. They're gonna go about six inches up the jam on the sides. We'll use standard zip tape around the rest of it just to air seal the edge of the zip. We'll be using this silicon sealant to caulk around the flange and provide a belt and suspenders approach to water sealing the top and sides of the window. That was a horrible mess. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know whether it's the uh, size of the bit or just the amount of foam or, or what, or because we're pushing through an inch and a half of material, but wow, it's a lot of dust. So I've got some shims installed, five of them across this window, which is more than is needed. But I figured what the heck, we've got the shims, they're cheap and it's good practice. 
So I broke them off in various locations uh, across the way. And as you can see, it's, it's looking really nice. If you slide it over onto the other set, right on the edge, we also have it pretty well level. So yeah, I like it. When we drive at the window, we had a nice healthy lip down here for the nailing flange, but up top, we only had about a quarter inch for the nailing flange, which is not enough to get any sort of confidence that our screws are gonna catch the wood. So we added an extra shim all the way across just to raise that up another quarter inch. So we should have about a half inch up top now and a quarter inch less on the bottom, which is fine. So this is interesting. It's actually March 12th right now and it's noon. And as you can see, the shadow from the overhang is halfway through the window box here. Um, when we design these windows and put them in this place that they are, the concept is that in the dead of winter, winter solstice, we will have full sun exposure through this window. And at the summer solstice, there will be no sun through this window. So here at the hump season, about half the window is getting sun at noon. So that's kind of, I mean, that is definitely as designed. Um, that's why the building is the height it is. That's why the overhang is the size it is. And that's definitely why these windows are in the position that they're in. They should dump a fair bit of heat into the building during the heating season. It's a brisk morning in northern Michigan, around 20 degrees Fahrenheit, with today being a high of maybe 40 degrees. Last night, we were able to finish up the second bay, both the fascia and the window. In hindsight, I wish we would have done brown instead of white for the frame, but white should be perfectly fine. They are nicely flashed. Um, I'm really pleased with, with the approach, you know, fully flashing the opening, caulking it, and then peel and stick flashing over the top of the nailing flange creates such a solid and robust window that it's just, it's exactly the sort of approach that I like when building. Also, we have a two foot overhang, so they're unlikely to see any rain anyway, except the hardest, most driving rain. So we've got a, a bomber window there, no worry whatsoever. Nice, the window is all flashed. We've started shimming. As you can see, it's looking really good. Having never shimmed anything before, you know, it takes a little bit to get into the habit, but it's pretty darn simple. You know, we're just basically chopping them off, trying to use some of the scrap, not that they cost more than a couple pennies, but whatever. Waste not, what not, I guess. 